an orientation camp wrapped up today that will help pave the way to establishing Canada's men's Olympic hockey team. It's definitely been a, a great experience to meet all the guys, to, to get to hang out with the guys outside of the rink, to get to know everybody uh, that you play against all year long. That's exactly what Hockey Canada was going for with the camp since it was their only chance to assemble potential team members before the Olympics. You know, it will help the unity uh, once uh, you know, once the team's made and the, the team gets to, to Vancouver, then uh, the guys that are there, uh, I mean, they'll, they'll know each other. So that's, uh, that's going to be a plus. It's a, it's a great experience, and uh, you know, it's great to, to get to know some of these guys. Team Canada's one and only practice before the Olympic tournament is on February 15th, still about five months away. It's very important, uh, you know, when, when uh, Team Canada is picked and you, you come in into the dressing room, you have one day of practice, not, you know, um, that there's not too many first-time meetings. So I, I think it's definitely been beneficial and uh, um, it's also a nice way to go into the season at this high of pace. Now it becomes getting into October, November and December and late December we'll announce a team in the interim. It's really about watching and discussing the players and you know, ultimately seeing who's healthy and who's playing well because health will come into it a lot. The NHL season kicks off in October, and when it does, you can bet these players will be gunning for a spot on Team Canada's roster when it's established two months later. For Sun Media, I'm Lyle Aspinall.